Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting functional equation. We have f of x cubed plus 1 over x cubed equals x. And we're going to try to find an expression for f of x from here. So, let's start by setting this whole thing equal to y. Obviously, you can use a different variable if that's confusing for you because a lot of times we are used to using f of x as y, but in this case, it's f of y equals x. Now, that implies the following. x cubed plus 1 over x cubed equals y. Now, we can use an identity that we use very often uh, in these kinds of problems. The sum of two cubes can be written as x plus 1 over x cubed minus 3 times x times 1 over x times x plus 1 over x. So the identity that I used here is basically the following, and that comes from sum of two cubes, a plus b cubed minus 3ab times a plus b is equivalent to a cubed plus b cubed. And when you expand, you're going to realize that's true. So this is equal to y, and the x cancels out, leaving us with a 3. So let's write this one more time x plus 1 over x cubed minus 3 times x plus 1 over x equals y. Now, we're going to use substitution a few more times. Let's go ahead and replace this with z. And that actually gives us an opportunity to solve a cubic equation. So, how do we solve this cubic equation? Uh, for cubic equations, if you remember, we use the same identity that's in here, right, pretty much. So let me rewrite it. And in this case, we're going to compare these two equations. So if you rename a plus b as z, so let's go ahead and call this z, and compare these two equations you're going to notice that if a plus b is equal to z, then the coefficient of z is here it's negative 3, here it's negative 3ab. If you ignore the negatives, this means 3ab is equal to 3, and this is equal to y. So 3ab equals 3 implies ab equals 1, and the other part gives us a plus b equals z, but we also get a cubed plus b cubed equals y. So we kind of have like three equations, a plus b is equal to z, but we're going to focus on these two first. And then later on, we're going to use a plus b equals z for something else. All right? So this is a system, and it's actually, even though it looks cubic, it is a quadratic system. Why? Because you can write this as a cubed, b cubed equals 1, and the second one stays the same. And now I can go ahead and isolate b cubed here. Actually, I can probably do that right away. So from here, I can isolate b cubed and write it as y minus a cubed and take and substitute that here. All right? And that's going to give us the following. Hopefully, you can follow the arrows. So a cubed times b cubed, which can be written as y minus a cubed equals 1. Distribute y a cubed minus a to the 6 equals 1. Put everything on the right side. a to the 6 minus y a cubed plus 1 equals 0, and then uh, set a cubed equal to c, because we, we used b already, and now this becomes a quadratic. Make sense? c squared minus yc plus 1 equals 0. Okay, so this is a pretty easy quadratic equation. We can just solve with quadratic formula, and then we're going to back substitute a few times. So let's go ahead and solve it for c c can be written as negative b, which is y, plus minus the square root of b squared, minus 4ac, which is minus 4, all over 2. All right, that's our golden ticket. That is c. And remember, c is equal to a cubed. All right, so we're going to set this equal to a cubed. But there's a plus minus sign. But since a and b will alternate and y is equal to a plus b, it doesn't actually matter which one you choose for a and which one for b. So let a be the cube root of the plus version 
and b be the minus 1. All right, so those are my a and b values from the quadratic equation and by back substitution here. Okay, make sense? All right. So now I got the a and b, and remember, y is equal to, uh, that's not y actually, z. z is equal to a plus b. Okay, so z is equal to a plus b, and we know a is cube root of y plus the square root of y squared minus 4 over 2 plus the cube root of y minus the square root of y squared minus 4 over 2. So I got the z value, which is good because now I can go ahead and use it. What am I looking for? I'm looking for x, and there's a relationship between x and z. If you look at this, we said, hey, let x plus 1 over x be z. So if I know z, I can find x, hopefully. All right, so let's go ahead and write it. So set the z equal to x plus 1 over x. Uh, one thing to keep in mind here, you don't want to substitute x right away or z right away. Because z is complicated, so let's leave it as z and just solve this quadratic equation. This is another quadratic, right? Multiply everything by x. And then put the zx on the left. And now you have a quadratic for x. Let's go ahead and solve this. x equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4. For a, b, a, c, but a and c are both 1. So that's our x. Great. So remember, in our original equation, we had f of something equals x. And we named that thing y. So we got f of y equals x, right? And then we associated y with z, and we solved for z. And we got it, and we set it equal to x. Okay. So we're going to back substitute now. What am I supposed to do? First of all, you can go ahead and replace z with what it is, right? And z is equal to that. But it's in terms of y. So we can turn z in, uh, in terms of something x. How? Well, here's, the, here's what we're going to do. We have an expression. So what is the relationship between x, y, and z here? So that might be a little confusing, but here's what we're going to do. So we have f of y. Oops. That didn't turn out well. So we have f of y equals x. So f of y is equal to this, right? And z is equal to what? This. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put it in. So replace z with, and let me, I can go ahead and actually copy that here. z is equal to the cube root of y plus the square root of y squared minus 4 over 2. And then there's a plus the cube root of y y. the cube root of y minus the square root of y squared minus 4 over 2. Okay, so that'll be replaced here. x equals, from here, you're going to get, um, let's see, f of y equals x, and we're going to replace x with this and z with that. Make sense? Okay, so from here we get the following. f of y equals x, which can be written as cube root of y plus the square root of y squared minus 4 over 2 plus the cube root of y minus the square root of y squared minus 4 over 2. This basically just replaces z and then plus minus the square root of, I'm going to write the same thing one more time. Okay. That plus the same thing with the minus sign, and then square, and then I have to subtract 4 from it and put a square root sign. So this is going to give us z plus minus, but the thing is, the whole thing is under the radical, right? And then divide the whole thing by 2. So that's an expression for f of y. If you replace 
x uh, y with x again, you're going to get f of x. And f of x is going to be the cube root of x plus the square root of x squared minus 4 over 2 plus the cube root of x minus the square root of x squared minus 4 over 2. And then you're going to add plus minus. Obviously, this gives us two answers depending on the domain you choose. The square root of the same expression, the cube root of x plus the square root of x squared minus 4 over 2 plus the cube root of x minus the square root of x squared minus 4 over 2. It's really hard to fit in here. And then you're going to subtract 4 from it and square root the whole thing and divide by 2. And that should give you the answer. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.